Cosmos is inclusive. Cosmos is visionary. Cosmos is discipline. Cosmos is pursuit of excellence. And Cosmos is humble. Cricket for me comes from the legacy of having a family that's been involved in cricket. Cricket is everything for me, you know, if I don't play cricket, I, I don't think I would be here. Cricket is my first love, I would say. It's a sport that I love and I was happy to be able to continue that. And I believe that if the coach is not fit and you cannot uh, do the demonstrations for them, uh, so it helps, it helps me to stay fit uh, and keep going. Cricket is passion, cricket is uh, motivation for me. I get a satisfaction from cricket that I get from nowhere else in my life. Being involved with cricket and these young people that play has motivated me to change my lifestyle, to become more healthy, to become more fit. For uh, people that know me, you can see the ray that you see in front of you has not always been the case. Right? I started on a journey four years ago to uh, become more healthy and this is the results of it. And a lot of my motivation has come from being around people who work hard for what they want to do. And I'm happy to be around them. I'm happy to stay moving around them while they're practicing. I can get a little workout in here and there. And it is truly motivating to have myself or to surround myself with these athletes. When cricket started in Manitoba, or when Cosmos started in Manitoba, the cricket teams were essentially named based on where people are from, right? And our club was formed and the people who formed it saw that they did not want to isolate themselves to a particular region of the world, a particular culture. So they chose the name Cosmos. Cosmos actually means universal. The one thing about Cosmos that I love is seeing the amount of talent that we've been able to bring up through through our time and you know Sonny's a prime example of someone who started when he was in his teens with us and has pulled in to to this level now he's playing for Canada. Vasu, uh, one of the players that I admire watching, Gary as well, really strong with the bat. And even Arminder, he's been looked at as one of the finest left arm spinners we have in the western provinces. I took over the club as president in 2003. We had six members. So my goal right off the bat was to survive. From six members in 2003 to two teams by the time we got to 2008. In 2010, we grew a little bit more where we became, those same members became competitive. 2012, we grew to three teams, and then in 2017, we grew to five teams. So my job uh, as president um, is mainly the general manager of the club. So we have training that we manage from January to May indoors. We have training that we manage throughout the season, so that's mainly May and September. Then we have the matches that we manage from May to September. So this involves getting facilities for training, getting equipment for training, getting those very expensive cricket balls for training th throughout the year, managing time and trying to get people out to training. So my job is to make sure that that opportunity to practice, the facility, the balls, 
or organizing them so that when they come out, they have something to do. So it's not wasted time. It is very, very valuable time that you can get a few hours in the middle of winter to practice cricket in Winnipeg. We were founded in 1978 and this is our 45th year. Uh, the first 15 years of Cosmos, we won 13 championships. Where we stand right now, in our 45th year, we have won 23 championships and five Western Canada championships. In the last 10 years alone, Cosmos has won the provincial championship here in Manitoba eight times. And uh, point of note, the first MCA T20 championship was played in 2008. And at that very first one, Cosmos won that championship. Altogether, we have 72 players registered to play cricket with Cosmos and we still have approximately 12 who are practice with us, who are waiting to be placed on the team. This in itself is amazing and this provides one, a challenge to manage, but at the same time it is very, very motivating to know that we have such a large group of people that want to wear our crest and want to play for Cosmos. We don't get any funding from government, from Sport Manitoba or anything. Nobody in the club makes money from this. I don't make money, as a matter of fact, it costs me. I put enough of uh, personal resources because it's something that I love and I see value in it. I have a wonderful relationship with an uh, organization called Home Run Sports Training Center, which is primarily a baseball facility. We started using them in 2005. A big factor that changed in 2015 when Raza Ali joined Cosmos. Rush at the ball, rush, rush. Pick it up. Nice throw. Good job, good job. Good job, good job. Before he threw. Lovely pick up, lovely pick up. Well done. Nice return. Off field, catch, and then go to the next one. Lovely, lovely front leg, fantastic. Well, I had uh, some uh, coaching uh, background back in England. Uh, I, I did uh, coaching with the uh, Sussex Northern Knights uh, and some private one-to-one -one coaching there for uh, FCCA uh, Cricket Academy. So when I came here and uh, I met uh, Ray Ramrath and, uh, and I saw some really talented and promising cricketers over here, I discussed with uh, Ray that why shouldn't I help them uh, and coach them. Raza loves discipline. Cosmos gave him the discipline that he needs so that he can help us better. Raza is motivated when people are learning. He's motivated by discipline. And the more you give him that, the more he will give back to you. Everyone here is very disciplined and they know the, their job, which makes my uh, job at the end of the day is a lot easier. When we, especially when we do high catches, I'll, I'll make sure that our players get underneath the ball as quickly as you can so they can settle down underneath the ball and then that which, which eventually gives you enough time to focus on the ball. And other thing that when they, they do uh, ground field, I'll make sure that they charge on the ball so they get enough time when they pick up the ball. We have a very dynamic uh, batter opener, uh, Gary Romana. He's a natural stroke maker and he has all kinds of shots in his book. Um, but I always talk to him uh, like uh, he needs to spend more time uh, on the crease if he wants to score big. Sunny Mataro is our uh, fast, uh, fast opening bowler. Uh, I always talk to him that how he can get the batsman out rather than waiting for the batsman to get out. I also emphasize uh, a lot on their fitness. 
because uh, if you are fit, you can perform better and you, you uh, look agile in the field. I want them to be match fit, so they, when they, they get into the ground, they don't feel tired and they always agile and always be on their, on their toes. That will eventually help them to perform well. Uh, she's going to go down as the first Manitoban to be selected for a GT20 team who is the captain of our elite team and he has been captain for three years now. Sunny Mataru. Jatinder Mataru didn't realize his full potential in cricket until he moved to Winnipeg as a teenager. He's now the latest Manitoban to be selected to the national senior cricket team. The win, I think maybe they did get home for the one. Look at the scenes of celebration. They're going to go back and run a second. Real controversy here. Real controversy here. Real controversy here. Real controversy here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been uh, playing cricket uh, since my childhood, uh, about maybe five, six years old. I played, uh, I, I learned my cricket from India under the coach uh, Amrik Singh Nagar sir. I played under 16 state level tournament uh, for my city Ludhiana and we won that tournament. I was man of the match in semi-finals. That was the first time ever I had a picture in the newspaper when my dad told me that we we're going to the Canada. That time uh, the team, uh, the club, my club team that I was playing for, uh, BRS Nagar club, my captain uh, Praminder Singh, they had a printed picture in the frame uh, they gave me as a gift and those things really motivated me and boosted me up towards cricket. I want to stress this, being selected for a GT20 team is not a political selection. He got selection solely because of what he is doing, what he can do and the potential of what he can bring to that team. Nobody has placed him there. He has placed himself there. I kept my training hard. I kept my, you know, one-on-one -on -one training with Raza Ali, working on my bowling or my batting and everything else and my fitness especially. and this is why I was working hard for that. When I performed, I was hoping that I would like, be selected in the national team. But like, sorry to say, but uh, politics was always there. Sometimes I was doing and sometimes I was doing it with Winnipeg. They don't really look into the players in Winnipeg. Like I work 10 to 12 hours a day and then right after I have to go train, I have to go to the gym. Like I never gave up because of, of the one guy, one, one player and he's my inspiration and he's my idol. His name is Yuvraj Singh. He played for uh, Indian cricket team. He never gave up in anything. Consistency. Even I still I continued just working hard and just focusing on my one goal. Canada that's, that's all I had in my mind. to win two deliveries remain Canada against USA for the T20 qualifier last over Sonny had the job of defending a, a relatively low total he bowled an immaculate over it came down to the last ball bold ball went to the keeper celebration started early and what happened ensued was a run and in the end the game ended up in a tie this is another situation it's not over until it's over 
We're coming down to this last ball here. Canada in wins by Canada wins by one run. And Barbuda, Verdon reckons Canada win by one. Two for the super over, three or more for the win. Here's Ali Khan. Swing and a miss. And he's not even going to get there for the single. Canada have taken the win. I think maybe they did get home for the one. Look at the scenes of celebration. They're going to go back and run a second. Real controversy here. I think they have got back for the second and for the super over. Is that Ali Khan has run the first run. Rusty Theron has come through. It's going to a super over. Two boys have been run. Canada celebrated too early. And you should never celebrate too early. I think we're going to the super over. But that last over was an over for a lifetime for Sonny. You would think that, yeah, yeah, I've done it. I've done it for my country. But it came down for like a split second of a judgment error that ended up costing him the game. And when I came home uh, with the silver medal, I remember uh, that day was the first time ever I've seen my dad actually was entrusted with, uh, with my achievements. That day, I remember he actually took the medal from me and he actually hang it on the on the wall. And seeing that, oh, very, very emotional thing in Delhi that finally, like, oh, no, realize that I have like a level play or that I have represent it. He was kind of emotional, but it was a happy tears that it was coming that I could see. Uh, so it was really proud moment for me and proud moment for them. They, they have seen me working hard, but they didn't know that I was that serious. So finally, I like, I don't realize that from these things, that I was serious and I'm actually playing really good now. So the 45 years of Cosmos is behind us. And it has been a significant 45 years filled with accomplishments and growth. But what's most important now is what's ahead of us. And in order for us to move forward, to make some of the visions reality about the Cosmos Academy, about getting players to grow the sport. We need people. We will need the coaches, we will need the administrators, we will need the community support. I invite you to join us and be part of that.